Alright guys, what's going on? This is uh, Connor here, and we're doing another episode of uh, Web Browser Reviews, and uh, today we're doing Bliss.io. And uh, right away I'm going to leave a feedback, just to uh, let them know what's going on. Seems pretty popular. Um, yeah, so... Let's check out my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, Connor submit. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get started, shall we? So we're gonna hit this download button, and we're gonna download this browser. And uh, this is. The damage file. So right away, right after hitting the uh, excuse me, the download button, it just tells us a little bit about uh, about the browser. You know, some premium devices, scroll sync, screenshots, recorder, uh, error notifications, page inspector, auto refresh. This is a web browser really focused on making a great user experience for for software developers and web developers and things like that. Um, you can prototyping, development, uh, testing, you know, so it, it's really supposed to be for developers more than anything. Um, let's get it opened up. Let's get rid of these. Uh, let's eject, eject, eject while we're waiting for this uh, to load here. Eject. Put these in here. So yeah, while it's verifying, let's just wait for this to go. Let's see, checking volumes, perfect finish. All right, drag and drop. And let's see, all right, copying over to applications. Less than a minute left. Let's, uh, let's get this going. <laughs> all righty, 10 seconds, five seconds left. Okay. Hey guys, just, uh, while we're waiting for this to load here, let me just uh, say, you know, really appreciate some feedback on these videos. If you could uh, drop a like and a comment, if you dislike it, leave a dislike. Thanks. So let's keep going now. Let's open up Blisk. Open. You can search from here with Google. Okay. Cool. Learn Brisk browser in two minutes. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to do that. So Command T opens a new tab. Let's see. What is this? Okay, it doesn't have uh, tooltips. Okay, disable emulation. What's an emulation? Switch landscape and portrait. Oh. Okay. I want to do that. I'm going to put this in, in portrait. Oh well. Manage scroll sync. Um, Blink wants to use your confidential information using... Uh, no. I would deny that. Okay. Get started. So this is already just with their whole user experience, the get started, you know, screenshots. This is really a developer's browser meant for developers. Um, if you're a web developer, I would probably take a look at this uh, maybe after checking this out. Um, so you can take screenshots, screen records, Let's check out Get Started. Let's check out all of these. So first, uh, so they have Blisk Apps. Welcome to Apps for Blisk Browser. We already have Blisk, so I don't know why it's sending us to uh, to download this. Screenshots and screen recorder. Real time notification about errors. Uh, okay. So the Blisk Browser apps were created specifically for Blisk. The browser for web developers. Blisk is a Chromium based browser built to increase quality and speed of web development and testing. Inside Blisk, pre installed module phones and tablets, URL and scroll sync, page auto refresh, and developer tools. Go to Blisk website. Okay, so what do we have when we right click? We have back, reload, save as, print, cast. Pretty standard. What about the page source? How does this look? Okay. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, this really looks very familiar, very, very familiar to, uh, to Chrome, actually. It, it really feels like I'm on Chrome, but I'm not. I'm on Blisk. Um, screenshots and screen recorder. Errors notifier. Let's check this out. No errors. Okay, so I'm guessing this is um, the console. Let's go to developer tools. Yeah, this is this is this is Chrome. They didn't build this. This is uh okay. It it really feels like I'm on Chrome right now more than anything. It just feels like another Chrome. This is like uh It just seems like uh let's see. Blisk device is a phone, a tablet, or a laptop which is in the emulated mode. Okay. What does this do? Scroll sync. Yeah, this is disable and enable scroll sync. Um, so how do I... Alright, let's go to the get started. Let's do that. So How do we... Which is the emulated mode. Devices are pre-installed. So how do we use this? So, what's this do? Okay. So it looks like you can change the display of the browser, but um, it, let's see. It click this icon to disable to rotate the device. So that doesn't actually work for some reason. Press Shift. Hover over the device. Um, I, it doesn't seem to work. Auto refresh lets developers and designers be more productive by updating pages automatically. Every time you write the code and save changes, Blisk refreshes the tabs. Okay, so then open up the. So I guess. I guess we're gonna open up. Um, let's just do Notepad or text editor. An entire. Oh, we don't want to open up Safari now. Go, go, go away. We don't want you. Okay, let's open up Blisk. Okay, so with domains, it means if you set up auto refreshing for localhost, Blink will refresh. Okay, so this domain wide. Global auto refresh. Um, so I guess if we just create a file called index.html maybe and save index.html. I didn't need to. That. Does it work? All right. So let's see. Does it work? Let's open this with uh, with Blisk. Verifying. I don't know why it has to verify because I kind of already have opened Blisk, but um, you know, I guess it's just going to do its own thing right now. Yeah, let's open it. We've already, I think we've already verified it and everything. Okay, so so it didn't actually open with Blisk, I guess. And it weird. Okay, so it's gonna do this whole process again, I guess. So, oh. ooh, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, let's, let's, let's open. So that's two features right off the bat that doesn't seem to, to want to work very well. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, is this Brave? No, it's not Brave. Let's open with Brave, see what happens. Let's, open, let's try it one more time. Oh, no, we don't want to do Brave. We want to we do Blisk. Well, we're Brave. Okay, okay, come on, man. Come on. 
Lisk. Okay, yeah, um, important. Yeah. So, yeah, um, devices didn't work, auto refresh didn't work, scroll sync lets developers and designers by scrolling pages automatically. Oh, well, yeah, I don't. I don't have this feature working. Let's see what happens. Can we. No, we're not going to allow that. Yeah, so scroll sync wouldn't work because devices don't work. Screenshots is a premium app. App takes screenshots of devices or desktop in one click and save screenshot in the cloud. Okay. What's which button? Desktop. Okay, maybe I need to log in. I mean, maybe that will help. I haven't created an account yet. Maybe I should do that first. Um, I review web browsers at gmail.com. Let's just fill in a random password here. And register. Now, yeah, this is like Chrome, but it has these really cool features that don't work. Um, yeah, we're not going to invite people to this yet. Uh, so this just wants to, so, to upgrade and invite. Maybe these features will work now, though. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah, we have to pay for, like, <laughs> okay, um, screen recorder, share, okay, so it seems like this is doing something, your video is currently uploading, so it just seems like desktop, so it, it looks like it, uh, okay, it doesn't work. Error notification as well. I don't even really want to go through the other two. Uh, I'm very disappointed. I don't like this browser at all. This browser was actually really bad. Um, it seems like it's just a blatant copy of Chrome with its own little, uh, you know, perks, which seems like you either have to pay for them or they just simply aren't coded very well and they don't work. So I would give this browser a 2, it's not a 2 out of 10. Uh, I would not recommend using bliss.io. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And you have a good one.